Okay, this is a quick semi-unboxing review of a new 3D pen that just arrived. It's made by Mirawell, M-Y-R-I-W-E-L-L. -L. Uh, when I visit their website, even clicking on their English link, uh, very little of their website is actually in English. Nonetheless, I bought this pen uh, just from Amazon. It was uh, through a vendor, a, a merchant called 3D Supplies Online. And uh, the one I thought I was getting was uh, one of the three doodler clones uh, that came out a while back and uh, just for testing. Uh, but what they actually sent me is a uh, Mirwell 3D pen. And if I go to 3D Supplies Online website, they show this pen. So I thought I'd review it because I've uh, enjoyed using it so far. So uh, there isn't much that comes in the box. There is a manual. Um, the manual is uh, mostly not in English, uh, but there's enough to uh, kind of get you started. Then there were uh, three uh, small spools about this size of uh, ABS plastic filament. 1.75 millimeters is what it takes. Uh, mine came with black, blue, and an orange uh, spool. And uh, then the pen itself, of course. And uh, it's powered using a uh, small brick mold. So let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, of course, just plug in the AC adapter. See how good I am at trying to do this one and then plugging in the powered adapter into the unit. Uh, once you do that, there's a yellow LED that uh, lights and that's showing that it's uh, connected. But you do need, before it starts heating, you do need to press forward on the feed button and when you do, a red LED appears, lit, and it starts heating up the element. So the pen itself is uh, a little bit smaller than the three doodler. Let me put one of those next to it. Uh, there's the three doodler uh, that we had gotten, and uh, and so it's 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 a much smaller uh, in diameter uh, unit. It has uh, two buttons, uh, forward and reverse, since this is the hot end, that's forward. And I like how they're uh, separated by some distance so you don't get them mixed up. Uh, there's a rubber grip, uh, seemingly for your uh, forefinger while you're holding it, if you're right-handed, or uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to work left. Uh, nonetheless, uh, on the flip side of the unit, on the other side of the LEDs, you have a slide control for the speed. Further to the back is faster, and uh, further to the front of the extruder is uh, slower. So let's just set it about halfway through uh, for testing. Uh, once the light turns green, you're ready to print. Oop, and it started uh, extruding a little bit. Um, I had been using uh, yellow filament, uh, so I'll go ahead and use that. And uh, Again, it came on these little spools, but I'm just going to use a uh, regular uh, one kilogram uh, printing spool. I have some uh, 1.75 or 1.8 millimeter ABS plastic, uh, fluorescent yellow. So I'll just unspool a little bit here and uh, just put this in the back end. Um, let's see if I can get around. So the feed for it is a, a little bit of a funnel kind of uh, opening so it's it's nice for reducing strain you just push it in a little bit and probably just as soon as it grips I'll be able to uh, start extruding so I'm going to press forward on it and hopefully you'll see it starting to extrude it's starting to pull the filament through the pen And hopefully you hear that there's a motor for doing that. And I could just go ahead and move it to fast. Hopefully it'll extrude faster. There it comes. 
and it shoots out pretty fast, at, at least at the high speed. Uh, so let's move it back to about halfway. So, so here it is holding it uh, sort of like a pen. And so again, you know, sort of forefinger on that rubber grip and then that kind of naturally puts your um, thumb on the uh, feed button. And so there it is extruding. If I can do it a little, I'll do it all the way to fast so you can see it at full speed. So it really shoots out the plastic uh, pretty quickly. Uh, you'll see some water vapor coming off because I did not have my plastic stored in desiccant. So it has a little bit of uh, humidity on it. And so, of course, that heats just like the plastic does when it melts. Okay. So, one of the issues that I see with this uh, pen is uh, printing in air. So, uh, the 3D doodler in comparison, uh, has a little fan for uh, that aids in, I guess, temperature control to some degree uh, in that it uh, exhausts some of the hot air. It does have to melt the plastic, of course, but it keeps it cool further in the device. But perhaps that's more temperature regulated. And on the three doodler, you'll notice that if I start printing on a piece of paper, and uh, create an anchor point which they usually recommend because then it sticks to something then you can start working your way up as you see I'm, it doesn't have much body to it as I'm putting it up into the air so how you uh, print up in the air is, is a little bit more challenging perhaps you have to wait a second when you first do it so like that such that you now have some in the air and then you can start um, drawing something you know, from there. Um, maybe you need to print at a much slower speed so it's cooling as it's uh, printing. Uh, so if I slide the bar all the way the other direction and start doing it, you hear it's, it's going very slow. Okay, maybe at this speed it's a little bit more reasonable. So Anyhow, uh, I wasn't very good at air printing anyway, so uh, I, I kind of leave that to other people to kind of look at and, and try out. Nonetheless, if you take a, uh, move this to a higher speed, and if you had uh, some paper and maybe a template of something that you're going to draw, uh, you can kind of start your anchor point and just start drawing. I'm just going to do maybe a box or something just to kind of show you how it works. And I could I know, make a cross pattern on it. And then uh, as it cools, I can then pull the part off. Now, I wasn't set up to really do a full comparison, but I can say that one of the issues that we had with the uh, three doodler uh, was that it would get up to temperature and there's a little LED that, that would like blue once it's at temperature and then you can start uh, extruding, uh, printing with it. And so when I hold up even on the slow speed of the two buttons uh, on the uh, slower setting, it seemed like it, it would have a tough time keeping that uh, hot end at the right temperature. And so every 30 seconds, maybe a minute, it would stop for a couple seconds until it could reach temperature again. So in effect, the blue LED becomes red when it's at low temperature, and then uh, you have to wait until it goes up. So it's like you're printing for a while, and then you have to stop and pause uh, while it reaches that again. And I just have not noticed that at all uh, with this other pen. I mean, I can just keep going forever, and uh, it just keeps printing. So I'll just leave that go for a little bit, just so you can see it running for a little while. The second problem that we had with the uh, three doodler was that, uh, perhaps because it was using the uh, three millimeter plastic, uh, it's a much thicker plastic than the uh, 1.75 millimeter for the uh, Mirwell 3D pen, that this thicker plastic perhaps was uh, having problems uh, going through the uh, pen 
the, the motor just didn't seem strong enough or grip the plastic enough to be able to print with it. And that was even using the straight sticks that came with the three doodler versus uh, this kind of curved one. Uh, it didn't matter what it was. Um, every few minutes, five minutes maybe, uh, we'd have to push the plastic, uh, manually push it through the uh, three doodler to be able to extrude with it. And uh, I've been printing, and, and students have been printing for uh, since yesterday, since this pen arrived, and uh, it's it's been working like a champ, uh, continually being able to uh, print with it. So no matter what I do, it, I don't have to refeed it through the back end, and uh, it, it just keeps printing. And it never uh, has a moment where it seems to have to stop to be able to reach temperature again. So uh, anyhow, this was a quick unboxing and uh, hopefully worthwhile uh, review. Uh, here's you know the one object that I created uh, just in that span of this review. Uh, please uh, leave any comments and I'll be sure to reply to them as best as I can uh, regarding uh, what we're finding out with this pen. And uh, I've got about three others on order, so we'll be looking at a number of uh, 3D pens soon. Uh, thank you.